This is the third quick revision video on shapes of molecules. And just like in video two, we've got an organic displayed formula and we need to state and explain all the different shapes and bond angles in the molecule. So if you want to have a go, pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers. Okay, so we'll start with these two carbons here because they've got the same shape and angle around them. So the shape is tetrahedral and that's because you've got four electron regions around the carbons. They're all bonding regions, so you've got equal repulsion and the angle associated with that is 109.5 degrees. Next atom we'll look at is this carbon here. So the shape around there is trigonal planar. That's because we've got three electron regions around that carbon. Remember, a double bond counts as one electron region. All bonding regions, so we've got equal repulsion, and the angle associated with that is 120 degrees. The next atoms we'll look at are these two oxygens. So just be careful here because of the way this is being drawn. It's non-linear. And that's because you have four electron regions around those oxygens, two bonding regions. So if we look at this one here, there's a bonding region there, there's another one there. But there's also two lone pairs on the oxygen as well. Obviously the same goes for that one. So we've got unequal repulsion. And I'm going to give the full order of repulsion strength. So lone pair to lone pair repulsion, which you would have between the two lone pairs. That's greater than lone pair to bonding pair. Obviously you've got that here. And bonding pair to bonding pair is the weakest type of repulsion. So when they repel each other. Much better to say that than um, lone pairs repel more than bonding pairs. So the angle associated with that is you start with your 109.5 from your four regions. And you take 5 degrees off. So you're left with 104.5 degrees. So we're going to finish with this nitrogen here. That's got a pyramidal shape. We've got four electron regions around the nitrogen, three bonding regions, and one lone pair. So obviously there's your three bonding regions, and obviously there's a lone pair on the nitrogen as well. Again, we're going to have unequal repulsion, and we're just going to give the two types of repulsion going on there, and give the relative strength. So lone pair to bonding pair repulsion is greater than bonding pair to bonding pair repulsion. And so the angle, we're going to knock off two and a half degrees from the 109.5, so we get 107 degrees.